on everybody today we're inside of the port pit and walking in that smell if you look behind me and you see that smoke the aroma of jerk is in the air and i can tell you it's one of my favorite places to have jerk if i come down this side i'm i'm passing through i have to stop and get a piece of jerk from here the flavors the the the, the style that they use the they still use authentic Jamaican flavors and still give you the spice that you need in there. And the cooking style you can see behind me, we're going to go in now, look at how they prepare some of the pork and the chicken as well and see what else they have on the menu. But I can tell you, once you're walking, man, I always see the smell of somewhere so inviting, so inviting. I mean, you can smell it off of the road. It just haunts you like a Disney movie when you float and go towards that pile like in one of them stories. You come to the port pit, you look for the landmark of this tree. This is a cotton tree that is over 300 years old. They've done tests on it, they've carved it and plugged it. And what's come back is that it's over 300 years old. And that is a landmark of the port pit. We're right outside the pit, but I can tell you the smoke, the heat, everything, the smell, all of those flavors coming out. And I can tell you that it's absolutely amazing. My mouth is watering, my ears all are clogged up, not even my nose, my ears are clogged up because you know when them say you can hear something but you can't smell it or you can't see it but you can't smell it everything is hitting right here from your touch road and touch inside of the port pit that smell hits you you walk inside you place your order on the inside and then the outside is where you collect your meats you have your side orders that you get inside your drinks and everything else after that you get your ticket you come out here by the pit and they serve you any amount that you want if you want a pound you want five pound you want ten pound you want twenty pound them have it and I can tell you, I will eat around 20 pounds of this and still one more. So they have the jerk going on and the pork, you can see the pork is what has that sweet wood over it. Usually they use pimento wood, but because of sustainability issues, the sweet wood is what they use more now. It's more sustainable than using the pimento wood, which gives us all type of flavors as well, but also mm, takes a longer period to grow. Sweet wood actually enhances the flavor, gives it a little extra sweet hint of smoke into it. So much like the pimento wood, the sweet wood is what's being used now and that's just for pure sustainability reasons and you can see that's how the pork is on it that is put on it so that it slows down the cooking process and allows that meat to get just at the right temperature where you get that back, you get that smoke into it you get that pimento flavor, everything that makes jerk the authentic Jamaican cuisine that it is So this is the sweet wood, very dry here you have different thicknesses of it but you can see it doesn't really grow thicker than this so this is why this wood is now used over the pimento wood, more sustainable it costs less on the environment to use the sweet wood than it does to use the pimento. You can still use the pimento berries and get that pimento flavor in it. But to, for sustainability reasons, we're using the sweet wood a lot more in jerk centers than they use the actual pimento wood itself. Sometimes you'll see just a block of pimento wood for the smoke flavor. They constantly have to replace the sweet wood because they burn out. So you can see why it's not sustainable to use the pimento wood all the time because it gets constantly burned out it still infuses it with flavor still infuses it with smoke but that sweet wood it just grows more efficiently in jamaica and allows us to be more resourceful and not have to use the pimento wood all the time you just have to switch out to one and we're burn out fire lean back some of that sweet wood on it so that there's no grill on top like it is on the chicken. This is just straight sweet wood and pork on top, so the flame. You can hear it starting to sizzle there. So you're right here, so you have that little space between that gap is what makes all the difference right there. And then putting it on these woods so that it doesn't really soak through and the fire has a little ease off of it. So you don't get the raw flame right on top of it. You get that low even temperature that allows it to slow cook and gives it that crust and that crackling that you can see. Look at that, that's crackling right there. That's a piece of pigtail right there with it. And then you have the sausage and other types of meats right there soaking with it. And once the pit spread, you spread back the meat all over, allowing it to slow cook some more. I mean, the smoke is ridiculous, but you can't have jerk without the smoke. The smoke is what infuses all of that flavor into it. 
just a process man it's just a process and if you don't go through this process i don't think it's authentic jerk this is why this is one of my favorite places to have jerk in jamaica actually not just in this part of the island Take number five minutes to contract it. Place hot bee, but that piece of zinc or that piece of corrugated aluminum, as you'd hear, Sonny call it. We call it zinc. But that, put, that piece is put on top of it so that allows the smoke to go in there. So it's mimicking the pit as was well the original way of jerk by covering it and allowing that smoke to settle within that meat. So none of that smoke escapes too much. It still goes into that meat before coming up. So from underneath you have hella bottom, heaven at top. You can see all of that going on in the pit. It's just a constant dance that him have going on. Turning the pork, turning the chicken, make sure that everything gets a little touch of smoke. All of that seasoning comes out, that vibrance of the flavors, the pimento spices, all of those spices get a touch of smoke, get a touch of fire, and that just enhances the flavor of the meat. All of that pork, all of that chicken, the juiciness of it, just slow cook. Keep it calm, keep it steady, keep it slow, and make sure that the rhythm of the smoke and everything infused into it so that you get just wonderful, awesome jerk flavors and awesome smoke flavors coming out into it as well. That is what true Jamaican jerk is. Usually we take a brush on him, but So with the pepper sauce and your hot, hmm? the yeah, green one, which is yeah. mild. See hot one. And two, yeah. This is a hot one. Yeah. Then two, yeah, I know the hot yeah. one. Three mild. Yeah. And then the other mild. Ketchup. Ketchup. So I don't know. Spicy. Pork it also has some of the best ribs that I've had in Jamaica. I mean, island wide. The ribs here are to die for the pork. I even used to eat jerk because of the spice and stuff. The ribs used to have me. Their sauce as well. They have this sauce that they do that is infused with ginger and then just the meat stacked on meat and being smoked out, all of that smoke getting into that. Look at that. A generous helping of that sauce and that sauce, I tell you, you heard it pan up the two times, so you know it's so proper. Okay, let me just show you how that leg looks. Look at that piece of chicken right there. I mean, I can still feel the heat, the bark on it. It still has a little bite on the outside. You can see it's almost like smoked. How the flavor has gotten through. You have that crust there. And then on the inside is just juiciness that coming out. I mean, it's not, it 
is a leg so it's not hard to be that juicy hot and rotten but mm, wow mm -hmm. yeah. I'm getting that seasoning right away I'm getting that kick of that jerk seasoning that's on it I mean just pulling up here on a day like this it just opened my chicken is probably the first chicken they serve today I can tell you that leg is absolutely juicy and bursting with all that flavor you can I mean after this you're going to see my hands my hands probably can't I'm going to have to go straight to the bathroom because the juices are still coming out of it the smell of it mm. oh my god and cook right down to the bone I don't know if you can see right down to where that bone is that's a nice piece cooked right down and seasoned right down to there so if you look around it it almost has like a smoke condensation if you look at the meat itself it's almost gotten like it was smoked you see that different that variation in color there you have the bark on it like the skin has crisped up as well mm. oh. that's all the flavor that all of that spice gone in that right there so i can't tell you sir mm. hint of pimento right out and a hint of pepper not a very sharp burning sensation but i mean you could always add more like you said this sauce that they have here is really really good and you see mark means everybody just dose it onto it me i'm gonna have to get it all over and then it's still sore cheers very nice the sauce just adds a different you note know, it vibes it up with a little bit of that acid there's a hint of vinegar in there and you can taste the skeleton flavor they have their own secret in there and i'm trying to give away the secret but the sauce from here the heat on that with that slight heat that's on the chicken it pairs very nice it, it goes well it works i'm not even gonna lie i'm a sucker for fresh flavors in a pepper sauce as well when you get in the flavors that we get down here from the farm the pimentos the the, the, the freshness of our vegetables and our seasonings that come from the farms here in jamaica I definitely love that when they put that in the pepper sauce and make it fresh not no something that have a preservative or a shelf life on it but something that's naturally made naturally flavored and 100% Jamaican mm. oh man see about the flavors and their work so people ask why the jerk chicken don't have the same process as the pork why isn't it leveled on wood as well you don't need to so you don't need the wood to mimic the underground like what we did or to mimic the underground originality of pork you just need some coal a fire some real jamaican jerk seasoning or some real jamaican jerk spices blend that up put it on your grill for the pork itself for me in order for it to be authentic you need that sweet wood you need that pimento either the pimento wood or the sweet wood itself either or that you can find something that's sustainable something that won't cost the planet that won't cost us as jamaicans at all further down the road I'm going back into it right away because it's mm, mm, you need to dash this is not fork food it's a jamaican hand food where you put on your fork and name with your hand no festival no side needed i came here for the pork i came here for the chicken and most of all some of this pepper sauce. This is the bark that I'm talking about when you talk about jerk. If you look at it, it's almost like, look as sweet as brown sugar. And then on the inside now, when you look around, you see that that's the pinkness. So you can see that there's a smoke ring around that. So that's been smoked and cooked down good. You don't want it to be overcooked. You can see there's still moisture in the jerk. There's still that bark around it that holds that moisture in. So all of this that is here, this is seasoning that has basically been brought down and crusted onto it, which holds the moisture inside. When you see that, you know it's a proper jerk. I mean, you see how easy it pulls apart. This is basically a sweet piece of jerk. You can look at the, the inference of smoke on the inside. See from the outside right here where the smoke ring starts to form around it. And that shows you that this has been smoked down and cooked perfectly. And just a wonderful piece of jerk. Mm -hmm. Mm. Now you always hear me talk about the pockets of flavor. I'm getting so many things off of that crust. 
I get a little onion, I get a little scallion. Most drug centers in Jamaica, especially ones found around tourist locations, tourist areas. Those found in the tourist destination segment of Jamaica. They tend to tone down the jerk and don't add as much pepper as they really should. And allow you to add your pepper and add the spice that you like me. I love when they put it on it and just give me my authentic country flavor of the scotch bonnet pepper. Mm. You're still, still, still with me all the time